Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Tinvas. In the last session, we discussed right how to print uh, some of the patterns right using nested for loops. Now, in this session, we will see some more patterns. Okay. Now, so this is a pattern right how to print this pattern using two loops, but here it is on conditions. In a outer loop, we are using increment operator. So, as we have a 5 rows, so 5 times outer loop will repeat, i value starts with a 1, so i is less than or equals to 5 i plus plus and inner loop for and what are the inner loop conditions? Here it is I am using decrement operator, so decrement means j equals to some value, j is greater than or equals to and j minus minus decrement operator we are using printf star and next one printf slash n slash n so, this is skeleton we know and now here it is what is the initialization and what is the condition we need to check okay to print this pattern here it is a 5 stars we are printing here i value starts with a 1 starts with a 1 and here it is a j value in a decrement order. So, j value starts with a 5 and j is greater than or equals to i. Suppose, if you write like this. So, initially i equals to 1, i equals to 1 and j is always a starts with a 5. So, 5 is greater than or equals to 1. So, how many times this loop will repeat 5 times with the value 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 because in a decreasing order 5 times it will repeat. So, 5 stars it will print 5 stars. Next it will send the control to next line in the same way. In the next iteration i value become 2 and the control move inside. So, j value as usual 5 it starts with a 5, but up to greater than or equals to 2 only nothing but with values 5, 4, 3, 2. 2. So, 4 times it repeats. So, 4 times it will print 4 stars in a second row, 4 stars it prints and next it will send the control to next line. So, like that next i value become 3 and again in the inner for loop j value starts with a 5, 5 is greater than or equals to 3. So, with the values 5 with the value 4 with the value 3, 3 times it repeats. So, here it is a 3 stars it will print. So, like that it will print this pattern. Okay. Sir, instead of a star, instead of a star, suppose I am printing i value, then what is the output? In the first iteration, i equals to 1 and here it is inner for loop repeats so 5 times. So, 5 times 1 it prints, 4 times 2 it will print because in a second case i value 2. Next, i value 3. 3 times next 2 times a 4 and 1 time 5 it prints 1 time 5 it prints next here it is a j j so what is the j value so what it prints right so what is the j value and what it prints means suppose observe in the first case j value starts with a 5 so 5 to 1 so, 5 times, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In the second iteration, i value become 2, but j value starts with a 5, 5 to 2, 5, 4, 3, 2. Next, i value become 3, so 5, 4, 3. Next, i value become 4, so 5, 4. Next, i value become 5, only this much. So, this pattern it will print. So, whenever we are printing the j value. Okay. If you print stars, so it will print this pattern, we know that. But here this is a very important thing. How to print this pattern? So, means what the background values, right? So, in this application, so what are the background j values to print this pattern? So, that we are printing directly j. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it will print. So, these are. Sir, for example, in this pattern, so I am using in a out outer loop, I am using i minus minus. 
and in the inner loop I am using J++. So, then how to print this pattern and uh, whenever we are printing I value, so what will be the output? Whenever we are printing the J value, then what will be the output? Okay, see. Suppose in the outer loop, I am using decrement operator. So, I value starts with a 5, I is greater than or equals to 1, I minus minus because it is fixed. It is fixed. And in a inner for loop, for so J value, this is a what is the initialization, so what is the condition, and uh, this is increment, this is already fixed. In a outer loop a minus minus, in a inner loop a plus plus. Whenever we use a plus plus operator is less than or equals to condition. Whenever we use a minus minus, it is a greater than or equals to condition. So, definitely. Now, so what is the initial value and what is the condition? Right. So, remaining story as usual. So, we are printing printf. So, we are printing the star we are printing the star and next one here it is a for loop just after completion of a inner loop we are just sending the control to next line now whenever i value is a 5 here we need to print a 5 stars 5 stars we need to print so here it is j value starts with a 1 j is less than or equals to 5 now look at this so, j value always starts with a 1 and inner loop how many times it will repeat means 1 is less than or equals to i value is a 5 with i equals to 5 it is coming inside. So, 1 to 5 how many times it will repeat 5 times it will repeat. So, 5 stars it will print in a first row in the inner for loop and once inner for loop execution has been completed. So, then it will print the slash n and next it will continue with the outer loop. So, now i value become 4. Again j value restarts with a 1, restarts with a 1, but up to i, i value is a 4. So, how many times it will execute with the value 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 iterations. So, 4 stars it will print 1, 2, 3, 4. And next, right in a outer loop i value become 3. So, come inside j value starts with a 1. So, 1, 2, i value 3. Only just 1, 2, 3. 3 stars it will print. Next, i value 2. So, here it is it will repeat only 2 times. Next, i value 1. It will repeat only 1 time. So, 1 star it prints. Whenever outer loop becomes 0, it will terminate. So, this is how we are printing this pattern by using right a minus minus in a outer loop and plus plus in a inner loop. Sir, in this case, what are the patterns it will give? Whenever we are printing i value and j value. With the i value is very clear. In the outer loop first, i value starts with a 5. So, 5 stars. So, instead of 5 stars, so 5 times it will print a 5. Next, in the next iteration, i value is a 4. So, 4 it will print a 4 times. 3 it will print a 3 times. 2 it will print 2 times and 1 it will print only one time. And next look at this, this is important. So, whenever we are printing j value, so what are the values it will print? Look at this. First j value starts with a 1 and here it is up to 5. So, nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this one. And next again second time also j value starts with a 1 only and here it is up to i, i value is a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 and 1. So, this is a pattern it will print. This is important. Okay. So, whenever we are printing i value and j value, so these are the patterns it will print right for this pattern. Okay. So, this is how we are printing right such type of patterns is very easy. Okay. So, in the next session, we will see some more patterns right. So, based on for loops right. So, for more videos, please subscribe to Naresh channel. Thank you.